Today is the day that we finally repaint Smurf. The first episode, we went in there and Chris did all the prep work on the hood and bumper and stuff like that. The good thing is, is Smurf is actually in pretty good condition when it comes to rock chips and damage. I mean, other than that time it got rear-ended. Then the next episode, we made our own unique color using nitrous blue as our starting point from the Focus RS. And then finally, Chris, we're painting today. We are painting today. It's the exciting day and the satisfying day. And the most work day. <laughs> most work day. <laughs> this morning, got the wing off, got the side skirts off, got all the unnecessary trim that we needed to get off to prep the car, and uh, that's it. <laughs> So as you see here, this is where the California Special Wing was. And this extra material from adhesive and stuff like that, we're gonna, instead of tediously pulling this off, we're just gonna use an eraser wheel. So never mind, in life we all make mistakes. Don't use an eraser wheel on this material because what is this stuff, Chris? It's called Dum Dum. It's like a uh, putty sealant that some wings will come with it on the back and it, mm -hmm. it's supposed to it's like a gasket maker. Sure. That some wing companies will put on there just to seal it up. But so is it like a silicone or is it like an RTV almost? Something like think that? Think of an RTV that never dries. <laughs> oh no. I try and wipe them down before I, uh, before I go prepping anything. That way, anything you have on the surface, you're gonna wipe away and clean up so that you're not sanding it into the surface. All right, Chris, for people who haven't seen before, what are you doing right now? Uh, so right now we've kind of just went around and just wiped down the whole car, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some low spot finder on here. Basically, we're gonna, when we block this primer down, we need to see where any low spots are. So this is called a guide coat, low spot finder, stuff like that. So that way we can see the difference between uh, fresh primer and sanded primer. Stuff like magic. Yeah. Bro, That's... you're vandalizing my car. Spray paint. <laughs> That's how we're painting it. The whole thing. The whole car. I'm sorry, Chris, I'm very guilty. On a certain car that people still somehow remember. <laughs> I don't know how you guys still remember that car. Um, it's still in the works though, I promise. That's, to be very clear, that car, I'm not gonna mention it. You guys can figure it out. That car has been a side gig really like a lot of people have always been like where is that car and what'd you do with it honestly it's just been something that I can do in my free time and that's why it's taken so long is I've just been taking my time doing it in my free time and once that car is done I'll just release all the videos one after another what it'll be nice that car? what is that car figure it out you guys are gonna laugh when you guys figure out the color though <laughs> it's, a, it's a super simple color and yes the spray paint is gone so we're good we got so into that conversation about that car we were talking about that he forgot to put his mask on. So safety first, kids. See how this is all a mess? You take the pad and you're smoothing it out. work is done done I don't really think it's that annoying it's just time consuming. time consuming it's tedious it's tedious it's time consuming but it's the most important part of the paint job Absolutely. because even if you're paranoid and you're like well maybe it didn't stand it good enough just do it again like yeah go around again we'll open up everything door jams doors hood take any tape off and we're not spraying the roof today yeah this is going tuxedo we're focusing on 
the blue the today. Yeah, so. Hard part's over. Let's get to the fun part. So Chris, yeah. why did we decide to just tape or mask the glass rather than just pull it? So on the back glass and the side glass are a little bit unique on Mustangs is that there's no gasket around them. We're not applying color uh, inside this edge uh, or really in, in, inside of any of the edges uh, because it's already grabber blue. So now because there's no edge around here, we can tape right to the edge of the glass and that clear is going to be able to make its way in and under and hit that that urethane seal underneath and that's going to that's going to protect that edge the same thing with the side glass now the front glass we're actually going to use a 3m trim lift tape uh, to actually go between the gasket and the paint and then we're going to pull it away from the panel so that we can paint behind the rubbers uh, and then once we remove that tape out that gasket can go sit over top of where we painted um, and then that way it can be a protected edge. Chris, what do you have to say about the people who are still gonna call you out for not pulling the glass out? I don't care! <laughs> no, I, I do care. I do care. I care about all your comments on how to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, that was kind of like an a-hole. That was the most passive aggressive comment <laughs> on that dude in blue in history. <laughs> Like, in history. I'm happy with it. I'm ready to paint it. <laughs> yeah, I think you and I both, brother. We just talked about how... I slip, didn't slip! I not didn't slip! Behind the shop cracks! I I what are those? Don't look at my crop. <laughs> well, we wiped it down right now. I'm just checking for uh, burn throughs, areas where we've we've scuffed through the clear coat a little bit too much. That way, I can concentrate on those areas um, to make sure that we get paint for. So I've got little arrows just written to look straight down from there and there may be an issue or two that I want to take care of that way we can make sure that uh, you know we're not painting this whole car and then oh we missed a chip or oh we missed a scratch that should have been taken care of so even in no matter how small it is we want to take care of it exactly at that point. So. All right the official T-Dev paint code going in. Not so much the pearl, this is the base. So this is the just the plain blue. There, she's starting to come through. So we wanna get rid of all those dark swirls.
GoPros have a different sensor in them, so sometimes you can catch things that their cameras can't. Oh no, I can see it. We actually did it, and I'm sure for a lot of people watching, they can't tell a freaking difference. No. And, <laughs> and that's okay. The reason is, is because their entire goal was what we like to nickname OEM Plus. So you take a factory color and you spice it up a little bit, but that way when you drive it around, it still has the same identity like it used to. Mm -hmm. Like this is still Smurf. Oh, absolutely. Still Smurf, without a doubt. The base is grabber blue, and it looks fantastic. And you can really tell the difference between, you know, the unfinished roof compared to the hood, especially. That's where awesome. you can tell that that's that's not even like prepped really on the back. It's just that's how worn out the paint was. Chris, what are your final thoughts on it? Are you happy with the entire job? I am. I am. It, it looks good. I mean, like you said on camera, you're not going to be able to tell like this. Even us standing next to it, unless there's a light on it, you're not gonna see that flake. So it's still gonna have that, you're driving around town, it's still people gonna go, nope, that's grabber blue. They're not gonna know the difference until you get up on it, you see the color, then you start going, there's something a little bit different with that paint. Right. And then you start inspecting it, or if it's in the sun, this thing's gonna sparkle like there's no tomorrow. Gas right. station lighting, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's all gonna look really good. Yeah, it's absolutely. just, when you're in a paint booth, you don't get the same lighting as like a UV ray or something yeah, absolutely. like that. So, all in all, extremely happy. SSR Collision and Chris did an amazing job. If you have any paint and body needs, you've seen it, you believe it, <laughs> there it is. Like. This car is at the first refresh in, oh my God, it's almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. So. I'm getting old. <laughs> Point of the matter is, good things are coming. And this was a very good start. Well, on that note, guys, once again, SR Collision. Again and again and again, amazing people. <laughs> Appreciate it. And at the same time, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the brand new color. And I'll see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching this. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, by the way, the next episode, we're gonna make sure that the entire car is assembled and have the tuxedo black roof and spoiler and deck lid. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Patterson Car Care. Get double of premium original detail product for half the price. Head over to PattersonCarCare.com or go to the link in the description below.